Hey, my name is Kim. Welcome back to my channel. I just got back from seeing the Barbie movie. In case you were wondering why everything's so pink. Um, today I'm sharing two weeks of dinners, I think. So, if that interests you, just keep watching. So for dinner on this night, I just did some mac and cheese. I did a roux with milk and then I added in cheddar and also some Parmesan just for a little extra tang, which my kids did not like and most of them refused to eat this. So that was annoying, but it tasted good for us. Um, we had it with some leftover pulled pork, um, which had been in the freezer, I think. So I just warmed it up on the stovetop and topped the mac and cheese. Um, had a few other toppings from leftover meals as well. I think there was some fried green peppers and a couple other things. Some fruit for the kids. And there's mine. This was pretty good. The following day, we had some leftover mac and cheese, fruit, and just some ribs that my husband made. There's my plate. Okay, so tonight for dinner, I'm doing breakfast for dinner. So we've got some hash browns that were on sale that I got today at Superstore. I'm going to cook those in there. And I've got this poacher. We're gonna do some eggs benny. This is how I'm doing my sauce, hollandaise sauce. And then we've got some leftover sausage from the other day, some smoked trout and some tomato. And then the kids, I'm just gonna make them either like toasted English muffins or like a breakfast sandwich. So all you need for hollandaise is egg yolks, lemon juice and butter. And just over a double boiler, we want this to be at a pretty low heat. And you slowly add like, a tablespoon of butter at a time until it turns pale yellow and then you just finish it off with like a little bit of lemon juice i've never used a recipe i'm sure you could look up recipes for exact amounts but that's just what i do All right, so we had some leftover sausage, so I cut that lengthwise for the um, eggs benny. We've got hash browns, a little bit of smoked trout, and strawberries. There's my daughter's plate. She just had a breakfast sandwich, though, instead of eggs benny. There's her plate. Here is another plate, a baby's plate, and here's mine. All right, so I'm making meatloaf tonight. I've got two pounds of beef. I have some crushed Ritz crackers, grated onion, garlic powder, adding pepper. Usually I would add salt too, but I'm going to try adding this into the meatloaf tonight. So leaving the salt out because I think there's salt in there. You also need bacon to wrap around the meatloaf medallions and barbecue sauce to brush them with. So there's my meatloaf mixture. I'm going to make half into meatballs. Don't mind the mess. It was, it was violent mixing this up. And yeah, the other half into meatloaf and I'll show you what they look like before they go in. All right, there's the meatballs, there's the meatloaf. I'm gonna brush this with barbecue sauce and make a sauce for the meatballs. These you have to cook first and then I'll pour the sauce on them. Those are going in for 20 minutes and these for 35 at 375. All right, so we ended up having that with rice. Um, I will say I didn't like the addition of the like meatloaf seasoning pack. It didn't really add anything to it. Um, we have that with corn and so beans. So tonight is Friday, we are making nachos. I've got some blue corn chips. We're going to make some guacamole. I just shredded a bunch of cheese. We're gonna cut out some cilantro. We're gonna have some beans with it and bacon bits. And I got this salsa in my last grocery haul. It's a mango jalapeno salsa. We also have some tomatoes and peppers and some corn left over from last night that I just cut off the cobs. Um, one of the kids does not like meat or cheese, so he's just going to have Are chips, black beans, and veggies. And the other kids will have plain cheese nachos with the veggies on the side. And then um, me and Steve's nachos will have everything. All right, so there's all our toppings. We've got the peach salsa, a bunch of different veggies, beans, and obviously tons of cheese. So there's ours, there's the kids, and then one kiddo just had plain veggies and um, chips. Here was a random dinner of chicken, potatoes, and veggies on Saturday. And then for Father's Day, yes, this footage is old, I made a blackberry pie for my husband, a Caesar salad. He loves canned green beans, but they have to be French cut. And then we had mushrooms, shrimp, and also steak. So. There are the little kids' plates, and this one was mine. This is just a random thrown together Pinterest idea. We've got some barbecued shredded chicken. Well, it's not barbecued, 
but it has barbecue sauce in it. I cooked it in the Instant Pot. We have brown rice. I wanted to do couscous, but we are apparently out. Got some coleslaw that needed to be used up and I dressed that with mayo, white wine vinegar, sugar, salt, and pepper. We have avocado, cucumber, cilantro, red onion, and some mild sriracha mayo, meaning I didn't use a ton of sriracha in it. I just used some water to thin that out and we're going to make some rice bowls with this. So on the Wednesday of this week, we needed just a quick dinner. So I did some whole grain pasta with uh, pasta sauce and a little bit of cream cheese for a rosé sauce, roasted some frozen broccoli. And the kids ate this pretty well, but I will say they were hungry again pretty quick after it was done. Um, if we add meat to the sauce, they tend to stay, even just a little bit, they tend to stay full for longer. So. All right, so it's 11 o'clock right now. Um, I am getting a roast ready for the crock pot. Um, I'm searing it in the Instant Pot and then I'm just going to use the crock pot function on my Instant Pot, but I'm doing sort of like a Mississippi roast. So for Mississippi roast, you do some water, ranch powder, this is my homemade ranch, pepperoncini juice and peppers, and a pack of brown gravy mix, but I'm going to use this um, pot roast packet. I really like this. And then just do a little bit of ranch and a few pepperoncini peppers so it's not too spicy. So yeah, I'm just searing my roast right now. I'm going to add all that in and then I'm going to cook it on the slow cooker function. And this is a two pound roast. All right, to sear it on all sides, I added in all my other stuff. And um, I'm just gonna set this to 8 and yeah. All right, so here I am making some Yorkshires. I've got a bunch of eggs and I just measured out the amount of eggs into my jar, added an equal amount of milk and an equal amount of flour and some salt. And that's how I make my Yorkshires. I let the, um, I let the batter sit out for a few hours to get to room temperature. And then I just bake it in a preheated oven, in a preheated pan. We did that, that with salad, some roast baby potatoes, and that was it. So here, are my Yorkshire's going in. These pans are hot with a little bit of oil and they puffed up super nicely. I usually bake these at like 450 or something. Ended up having to cube my roast because it didn't end up shredding very well, probably because it's a sirloin tip. I usually prefer outside round. For the next dinner, my husband actually made it and it was just ribs, salad, leftover salad, and some Cheetos mac and cheese. And that was dinner for, I think Saturday. We did something else on Friday. On Sunday, my husband made these sandwiches.